Hey, Miriam, I saw your question on Facebook, and I thought I'd give you my solution to it. This is what we're going to build. For everybody out there that thinks it's a hard, complicated thing to do this, it's not. And I just want to show you how easily and quickly you can do that. See how beautifully responsive Bootstrap is? In seconds, I can build this if I use Bootstrap. Bootstrap is worthwhile learning. If you think I'm a rocket scientist and I went to computer science school and learned all this, you're wrong. I didn't. I'm a novelist. I self-taught myself, and you can too. And I recommend everybody learn how to code and everybody learn Bootstrap. Okay, so let me show you what I did here. Um, let me just erase all my code here. Okay, so I'm in the uh, Dreamweaver. That's what I use for my editor, but y'all can use whatever you want to use. Okay, and what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is go to Bootstrap. And up here on the right, um, in the Documents tab, you have different versions. Make sure you're on 5, okay? Um, we're going to start with the getting started. We're going to hit introduction over there on the left. And then over here on the right, I'm going to hit the start template. Over here on the right, I'm going to hit the copy button. Over here, I'm going to paste it in. I use my own CSS that I downloaded. I don't use the CDN because I get code hints in Dreamweaver. And if I use the CDN for version 5 of Bootstrap, it doesn't work as well. So that's what I do. You don't have to do that. You can just keep what they give you. It's perfectly fine. Uh, so I've already downloaded the CSS. Okay, so that takes care of my CSS. Now I need to put in uh, JavaScript. Version 5 for the JavaScript, version 5 for the CSS. So we're good to go. Hit F12, that's what it looks like for right now, but we're going to fix that. I'm going to take this out. Um, first thing, I'm going to put in my nav bar just because I wanted to show you all how easy that is to do um, with Bootstrap. Just type nav bar, you scroll down, you pick the one you want. I'm going to pick this one. Hit copy. And you paste it in. Twirl it up. Um, then Dreamweaver, I'm, I'm not Dreamweaver, Bootstrap has, like, if y'all remember wrappers, they have their own form of that. It's called container. It's a class of div. Or it's just a class. So that will hold my carousel. And then I'm going to put in um, one row and um, three columns. This is it. Okay. Oops, did that wrong. Uh, row and columns are classes of Bootstrap, and it's already been um, coded for you, the CSS, so you're good to go. You just have to build your frame. All right, now we need to get the carousel. We're going to put it in right there. So I go up here to my search docs up in the left. Type carousel. I find the one with text on it. Or captions. I hit copy because I think that's the one you're using. I hit paste. I go to the image tags. They've just got blank spaces there. 
Um, I built three images for this project just so I could show y'all something. It's nothing fancy, it's just colors. There's my first image. Um, the images will be responsive because I'm building in Bootstrap. I don't have to do um, media queries or anything like that. It's already done for me. Bootstrap is wonderful, y'all. You should just read it every day. Even if you don't understand it and you think you you everybody else understands it, they don't. Just read it. Play with it. Spend 30 minutes a day while you're drinking your coffee in the morning and read it. Go through all the chapters, and then when you get done, read it again. It's well worth it. Okay, so this is what, see how nice it is? See, here's my nav bar. Here's my uh, carousel. Um, see how close this is to the nav bar? If I want to put a little bit of a margin on there, I can. Um, it's really just fabulous. All I have to do is find that row and then add to the class. So Bootstrap has a thing called margin. Um, you can put in 0 through 5. It's a class. All you have to do is type M minus 2 in that search box. that will take you right to it and tell you what that is. So now I've got a little bit of space there. If I want a little bit more, I can make it a little bit higher. See, I've got a little bit more. Now you think, well, Amy, my, my thing's too small. I want it bigger. That's no problem. You can do that. I'm going to take out this div. Right now I've got three divs, and because I have no spacing on them, they are all, it takes the, the content and equally divides it. But you can... You can say, I want this, uh, this, I want to have two columns, and I want the first column to be two sections, two thirds of the um, row, and the third column to only be one third of the row. And it works like that on a grid system as well. Again, you can read about that in the uh, documentation. Now it's a little bit bigger. I take out the third column down here. It'll be a little bit bigger there. See? See my menu? It's completely responsive. See how it shrinks? It's just fabulous. And you can control that. That's just the default, but you can, it gives you complete control over all that. Then all you had to do was fill in. This is so nice. If y'all ever tried to hand code something like that, it takes a long time to do it. Learn Bootstrap. <coughs> <coughs> a lot of people give you a hard time. They'll say, oh, they're real snobs and they think you should hand code it. You shouldn't hand code it. You should learn Bootstrap and use what somebody else has coded for you. And take advantage of it. Let me tell you why. You have 1,000, no, 10,841 lines of CSS alone in Bootstrap at your disposal that somebody else has already coded for you. All you have to do is read that little um, documentation and learn your learn your classes. And and it's really easy to do. So y'all learn learn Bootstrap. Just start. There's only a couple of chapters there. Just start with getting started and read the introduction and practice with that on day one. Just spend one day on each of these things. You'll be fine. You'll learn it. It's not that hard. Uh, the other thing I recommend that people go to for a resource is this.